In this short video, we're going to explore the same R model and how to get started with it in your school or practice. There are quite a few areas to explore, but we could start by thinking about how to support teachers to use it as a reflection point, and we'll cover an activity that could help with that. We also need to think about, while we're doing this, how to encourage risk-taking and creativity so that teachers feel free to experiment and trial new ideas. We also need to think about how to become collectively digitally literate and fluent so that we can use tools and imagine how tools could be used with our existing practices. Uh, we also need to facilitate some collaborative planning because when you bring teachers together, that's when the innovation happens. And also we need to think about how to ingrain it into the culture of your school so it becomes just the way that you do things. Even ingraining it into your teacher inquiry is a really useful way to make progress with the same R model. Now, the same R model really synthesizes hard technology such as digital laptops, VR headsets, computers, even pencils, and even post-it notes, and also exploring all the educational apps that are available in the Microsoft, Google, and Apple suite, as well as other external ones. Now, all these technologies and tools need to be filtered through the teacher's ideas of what's possible and the teacher's skill set and capabilities. It requires level of synthesis and creative thinking. So it's not an easy stage and it doesn't come naturally to some teachers. So therefore, how can we provide teachers with the skill set to, to be imaginative and innovative with the same R model? There are many resources out there that can help scaffold this. This is the pedagogy wheel, which applies the same R model to iPad applications. And you can see on the outside, it gives the same R model of redefinition, modification, etc. And then it links up tools with things like the Bloom's Taxonomy, such as Evaluate, Create, Remember, Understand. So there are some resources here to help teachers, and there's some very good examples online of using Microsoft and Google tools for the same R model to redefine learning. However, we want to encourage teachers to explore more than what's out there already, but to truly innovate for their, for their students. One way to do this is to provide teachers with a template such as this in a collaborative exercise in a staff meeting Teachers can write their name at the top and then write down a previous example or activity that they've done in their practice or that they've seen before. Now then they can analyze what level of the same R model this activity was at. It might be that it was already modified or redefined, but if it's not, if it's at the substitution or augmentation stage, the teachers can then jot ideas down, linking tools and tasks to modify or redefine the learning. If this is done in a collaborative way, teachers will push each other to come up with imaginative ideas and solutions. This can be then used, used as a shared resource across the school. But don't forget that SAMAR is not just about task redesign, it's also about designing the whole learning experience. So how can the whole learning experience across a year or a term be redefined? How can teacher and student communication be redefi redefined? So it's not just about task design, but it's about the way that we do things. And how can we go more in depth with our learning? How can we use the SAMAR model to make room for more mastery, not just content knowledge. And it can also be used for when technology is not useful. If a piece of technology is only allowing us to augment or substitute, then perhaps it's not worth spending time instigating it. So those are some ideas for how to get the same R model started in your school. Work collaboratively, use it as a critical thinking tool, and make room for collaborative innovation and risk taking.